Okay, so today I'm going over this component called isotrim, and it allows you to basically cut down any geometry into segments. So let me show you that. So I'm going to create a basic geometry using a circle, and that so uh, so that we could subdivide it down. So let's do a large, fairly large uh, circle. Let's extrude it the z direction. And we can use the same slider. Let's see if we extrude it up. And so we're going to use the space geometry to um, uh, give you an idea of what isotrim does. So let's go here to isotrim. And so isotrim is going to break that uh, this cylinder down. So let's plug that in here. And now we see nothing happen. So let's bring the other component called divide domain squared, which is this green one that has. Uh, one square and then it goes into multiple so that kind of makes sense and it's going to give us a count in the u and the v and we plug that in there and nothing happens because we need to plug in that surface also and now here we can go uh, a slider we can say five and then five here and then we can now adjust the number of divisions vertically and here's the other way um, horizontally that we can break that down now. I'm going to go here and actually hide these so we can look at this. Uh, so the result is a bunch of small different planes that have been broken down and you can see that here in the component. So it's actually a fairly small amount of steps just for subdividing um, a surface. But uh, if you wanted to let's say create pipes around the geometry one of the things is if you do go ahead and just create pipes, you can say, okay, plug that into there. We can see it takes a long time for it to process because it's actually creating a frame for this one and a frame for this one, which creates redundant uh, pipes. So it's actually creating two in every single segment. And sometimes that's not what we want. So one of the ways to do it is to join the B-Rep. So we're going to join the B-Rep. And now it's not 40 subdivided ones, it's one closed B rep or one open B rep. And we can actually do the B rep edges. So we, let's go to that. And now we can we can see that instead of having all the, let's see how many we have here. Um, and now let's give it a pipe here. So I'll give you an idea of how much faster it actually is. Uh, let's go interior ones because we want just the interior ones but if we wanted the exterior ones so we could also put them there and you see how quick that was and we can even go here go to round and that's a way to get every single uh, line in here that is not uh, duplicated and the same thing's gonna the same thing's gonna happen with the points uh, if we go here and we take this and we deconstruct the b-rep we'll see that it's actually how many vertices we have here we have 160 but in every corner we actually have four so that's just something to take a look at and, and keep an eye out on uh, because it's something that um, that you might have trouble with in the future using this command now also with this one of the things we could do is select a point within each panel and one of the cool ways that I do that is I'm gonna go here and type in MD slider that's going to create a point in the center of each one of these panels and I'll show you um, how to do that so it's called evaluate surface so basically and we're going to evaluate every single one of these surfaces bring it in here but make sure to right click right here where it says surface and go to reparameterize because otherwise it's not going to work so if it doesn't work make sure you have that here or here and then you plug in that point and you see that we created a point in the center of each one of these panels. And if I take the parameter, oh, let's see, it doesn't work anymore. So you have to use this command for it to work. And um, there's so many things you could do with this because we can move that point around and see that it adjusts accordingly. So that's that's kind of a, a, a cool thing that you can do with, um, let's see, deconstruct BREP. We can actually deconstruct all of those B-reps and we can go create a line from the end, the edges to the midpoint 
and we can go and do graft or not flatten graft and we'll see that we actually use that point in the center to create kind of like this X frame structure that we could also move this around and, and adjust it so it's it's pretty interesting some of the things you can do just with these simple steps um, and then we can also plug this into the curve here and you can see that now we have uh, a pretty cool structure here we can adjust the subdivisions we can do less or we could do more depending on on the design that we we're looking for and so that's basically the way that you would use the basic way of using isotrim and some other kind of tricky trick ways that you can uh, pull out more geometries and, and make it look a lot cleaner so hopefully you enjoyed something uh, or you learned something in this tutorial and you enjoyed uh, what you saw here and if you have any questions let me know uh, and I'll hope to see you next time thank you for watching